okay so let me say that we are taking a list called as par list so one two three four five six something like this so i would like to make a difference like uh, i would assign you could see that i have assigned the child list i have taken one parent list and the child list and i could see that uh, the parent list and the child list are assigned so in the same fashion if you see the child list also you could see that the child list was there it means both are same so this is a typical assignment operation so all the things will be the same so so now we will explain uh, explain the things how the things will be changing so we pretty well know the different uh, there are two operators like uh, is is operator is operator will be returning true if the both the addresses both are referring to the same object in the same fashion there is another operator for us called as equivalent operator so the job of equivalent operator is equal is to check the equivalence of the values only so so typically uh, if object oriented programming means that every pro object will be having a unique address called as id and the other way other one thing is value and the type and these are the three things which are present so individually if you see that uh, then we can go for a see an equivalent to operation equivalence means uh, it just checks the values so you could see that both the values are equal so that's why it's made an equal in the same fashion if you replace it with e is is operator so let us see so both are equal so means that both the things are uh, projecting the same thing so how come we say sir you, you could say that the values are equal and how come we be sure that both the things are pointing to the same object so there is something called as id id operator so you could see that if you go for the help of id you could see that id operator will be there so what is its job is that to return the identity of the object it means that so what are the object that we compile and place in the memory so so it will we having it it doesn't mean that two consecutive so we can see uh, further so you could see that the id of if you see the id of par list so you could see that the id of value so and so is different coming to the id of child underscore list is different so you could see that both the, both the values are equal so both the values are equal so it means that both the things are projecting to, uh, addressing to the same object so in this due course we can conclude one point that so when we are going for the assignment operator so two objects are not created but the two references are there for the same object so that's what the uh, first conclusion so then we can go further and investigate the things like uh, now let me see so again uh, we know that um, so par list it's uh, the first list that i have taken is this thing right so uh, let me let me take uh, the second value okay so we know we can see right so if we go for the second value this is something so let me allude to something else okay let me place it to okay so okay so if 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 you ask that uh, list completely again and you could see that the second indexed value is 012 means the third three values replaced by the this uh, so in the string so that is the peculiarity here so again so let us see so whether the child is uh, changed or not a list yes it is changed why because as i told already so the two are referring to the same object so whatever the changes were done with respect to one of the variable will affect the other because both are indexing to the same object that's the point and in the same fashion so let us make a change to the child object so this time previously we have made a change a modification to the parent list now we let us do for the, the same for the child list yes uh, so i am replacing the zeroth element previously it used to be the uh, thing so let us see how the child list will be there right now oh you could see that the child list was changed in the same fashion parent list will also change yes of course Why? Because both are uh, referencing. These are the both variables which are referring to the same object. So this is where you could, we can come to the one conclusion. Then, uh, so we can go for the uh, evaluation of the other two, two things. Like, uh, and uh, the uh, point I would like to assert here is that uh, assignment operation is called as hard copy. 
so we are not doing anything much but just we are referencing two or more any any number of variables you can reference to the same object so but make sure that if you want to get the changes for all the references if you go, make change to one thing in such cases you can use this sort of assignment operation and then you could see that there uh, we can go further and we can see that and then we, uh, we can we can go for the import copy so the copy is the basic module you can get uh, downloaded this comes into picture if you go for the scenario of copy so one is shallow copy shallow copy means copy dot copy so we will go uh, through them uh, in due course and there is another kind of thing called as deep copy so we need to see what is the depth and the deep uh, copy means that so uh, let us reassign the values again let us reassign the values so we we are we are reassigning the values uh, let it be to the be um, parent parent list yes we made the parent list then uh, in the same fashion instead of making the simple child we, we are going to compare three things here one is the ordinary assignment operation or a hard copy and the second one is shallow copy and the third one is deep copy first one is hard copy hard copy so the next one what we want to say is uh, shallow copy shallow copy means copy dot copy so i have done copy dot copy copy dot copy so it is shallow collects next one the third one is called as deep copy third one is called as deep copy deep copy so in this way we are changing the things okay so once the things were done so we, we we are going further okay so let us go for the comparison all in all comparison of so as i told already so we need not uh, refresh back again about the equivalence operation and the equal operation so you could see that i'm comparing all the all the child's list with the parent list see that both all the things are same so it means equivalence operator checks only the value so as the things are there so values are equal so if you would like to print all the values at a at a way instead of placing all things like oh my god oh In the same fashion, let us see the equivalence optimization. Yes, it's 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 false. Why? Because it's it seems that uh, some things are referencing to some other things. Like um, we can see individually here. Like uh, oh, individually for this thing individually. Like you could see that both. I means assignment operation is same with the original list. So we can go for the second list. So these two are false. In the same fashion, those three all false, and you could see all the things in uh, in a one uh, one one shot like. Uh, you could see that his operation is false, so. I plus all the things you know whatever you could see the first only first thing is three and the other things are false so even you would see that the child list child list two is not equivalent to child list three because different objects will be created altogether that we, we can exploit so how the things will be there mm. So as I told you on the other, uh, other point, so I'm reasserting here that, so this is the IDs. You could see that individual I'm placing the IDs. So this is the in initial ID. So this is the second ID. So this is the third ID and fourth ID. And you can note one point that previously I have given that, uh, uh, previously it used to be, so for the parent ID, it used to be something else. 
so if you remember the parent id so initially with the same name that we have created when we have seen the value it was something with 776 but now the things were changed why because we have reassigned the values here in the values here so it's all the memory job so how it does uh, all the things are different actually so so only concern is that so it is unique the only point so the parent list is thing and the child list as we have made an assignment so child list will be the same and you could see that these two are different altogether these two are neither equal to this uh, uh, these things are these things means neither equal to the shallow copy thing or dev copy or so no re relevance means altogether a new thing will be created so now let us see so if we make any sort of modifications so how these things will be affected so let me take as you know that uh, third value is 0 1 2 3 so so that we are replacing you could see that the third value is replaced is for okay new new thing in the same fashion let us say now we change the parent thing right parent list so let us see how the other the other uh, child once it would be good for yours to see at the very first moment you could see the first thing parent thing and the second thing i mean child one means it based on yes it's based on uh, the hard copy then followed by the other child's based upon shallow copy and hard copy you may say that so what uh, both are equal so what makes the difference so you couldn't see the things difference in a uh, single dimension so if you if you see uh, if you go further and investigate into the uh, multi-dimensional scenarios so then we can find the actual difference so let us go for the multi-dimensional okay so multi-dimensional multi-dimensional things are used in the uh, typically gaming pi game the other things multi-dimensional so if you go for the multi-dimensional i am reassigning again Altogether, I want to reassign a multi-dimensional thing. And uh, as I told already, if you go for the idea of this pair list, you could see that ID was different again. So this ID is also for the parent name, my list. This is also for the parent list. It means that what happens for these value means, it will be, uh, that reference will be, uh, I would say, uh, cut if i mean so the reference will be gone so you know that there is a garbage collection and garbage collection will do the job that we can see in the other video so so yeah just right now instead of uh, shallow copy so in hard copy as we know that hard copy is a exact replica and uh, referencing the same object we will not discuss more now we will be going to discuss difference between these two in terms of this thing so you could you see that this is the shallow copy and the uh, next one we would like to see with the same uh, name we have used already like a uh, shallow copy dot copy means shallow copy and copy dot deep copy means deep copy so uh, the parent list pa uh, parent list would be parent list is something like this so similarly the child lists also will be the same thing like right? so uh, we can go for the equivalence operation and we can see the difference again okay? so equal to and equivalence operations so in this scenario i'm directly comparing the parent list so you could see that it is saying both are not equal in, in terms of ob object as i told you already right so these objects will be different okay in terms of value yes these are equal okay so we can see again so in due course so in the same same fashion so if you go for the uh deep copy of also the same scenario to explain copy so yes and the both the values are equal so it is done and if you see the operation so equivalence of op, uh, is operator means it gives a false 
and uh, then we can go on getting a value individually of this list okay so let us go for the third value 0 1 2 3 in this third one we can go for some 2 0 1 2 second thing uh, then we can go for the first value something like this okay so if you go over this we will get the seventh value and let us replace this seven with manual seven uh, sorry seven then if you see the parent list okay so it is something like this and see whether we are getting the corresponding changes in the child also or not if you remember we have placed the child list two right so yes the parent list and child list are different or equal yes both are equal so now we can go for the, the, the child class child list child list two so you could see that uh, say a uh, deep copy for the case of deep copy there is no uh, effect or change in the things means that both this is also forming a different object and this is also forming a different object altogether but there exists a difference right so let uh, let us execute the get the ids actually ids id the ids of this let us go further and uh, remove that why because we are not using child list one name right as of now that tom clancher is not used so you could see that right so this is equal to this no so this is also different but the I would say values are equal so in this way i could say that if you if you if you want to uh, this is the only uh, i would like to conclude simply that if you want uh, so the hard hard copy hard copy is used in scenarios where you want to have the changes correspondingly reflected in the all the other variables which are referencing to the same object then you can go for hard copy so coming to this uh, shallow copy shallow copy is used whenever you want to you don't want to get the things replicated in a single dimensional thing scenario you can go for a uh, shallow copy and uh, if you are in a multi-dimensional scenario and you want to you don't want to get the object to be affected original object to be affected then go for the sh uh, deep copy so these are the uh, three conclusions thank you